My name is Michael Rinsom. I'm an instructor in the Information Technology Program. Everybody kind of starts out in the same general program and then we go into either uh, security and forensics or network administration depending on what you like and where you see yourself in the future. In network administration we spend most of our time designing the networks, uh, figuring out how to have two computers communicate with each other. So as a network administrator you're designing that entire system. We use Cisco routers and it uh, gives you the, the student a real broad base of knowledge when it comes to how to configure a router, how to set up a router, how to configure a switch, how to set up a switch. And then we get into uh, information systems administration where you're actually designing those systems and uh, using Visio to design layouts and design network infrastructure. And then we have a deployment class where you're actually taking all of that knowledge that you gain over the previous six quarters and deploying a system as if you were really setting up a production environment. But when you think about how much computers have surrounded our lives, you can pretty much walk into any company and be their network administrator. And that's one of the main jobs that we see coming out of PTI is a network administrator. Uh, occasionally we'll have students that can work their way up through. We also have jobs in government agencies uh, that come here that want people who understand networks and understand how computers function. In the security field, some of the courses that you'll see include um, cyber forensics, where we're going to actually go out and see, okay, this guy is accused of a crime, let's use his computer and see what kind of things was he doing on his computer. So undeleting files and going in and looking at the very lowest level of computing, trying to find the information. Uh, some of the other classes then is actually securing the network, so you'll take classes on how do you implement these different types of software packages and how do you implement a, a firewall and how do you implement a proxy server. Uh, the biggest jobs that we see coming out of the security and forensic side is either the forensics analyst, which is where you'll be in um, the law enforcement sector uh, helping and assisting in pursuing crime and attempting to recreate scenes and attempting to uh, recover forensics data. Um, the other side of that then is the security uh, and you can look at jobs like security analyst where you can go into different positions in networks and see what are they doing right, what are they doing wrong. Um, our biggest goal is you don't want to be the next person on TV where they said hey their security was just breached and 50,000 credit cards have just been breached. So that's one of the things that we really focus on is being able to uh, create a network that gives you some sense of security. We love hearing back from our students and I talk to many of our students who are working in the field and it's a great joy to hear how they're moving up in their company and they tell us that hey what we learned in your class has really helped me to kind of separate myself from the other people and I've been able to find better jobs or I've been able to move up with this company and get promotions. When we look at uh, potential students one of our biggest things is a passion for computers. A lot of our students come in, they may not understand or know how to use Windows Server or a Linux product. That's not really what we're looking for. We're here to teach you guys how to use those products, but what we want to see is that passion. Uh, if you have a, a love of computers and you spend your time thinking about, hey, how can I do this or how can I do that, you're the right kind of person.